It is no secret that our lives over the last two years have completely transformed. As a result, video chat has supplemented many of the activities that we used to do in person. Telemedicine and remote coaching have gone along for the ride and exploded in popularity as clients prefer to receive services remotely from the comfort of their own home to avoid commutes and health risks. Now, with the Muse headband widely available and companies like MindLift providing essential software, this industry is growing faster than we ever expected. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech for Psych. I'm Dr. Cody, your medical doctor confidant. It's been a while since we talked about updates that MindLift has been putting out, so I'm really excited to share those with you. In this video, we're gonna take a look at all the hard work that MindLift has been doing to perfect their neurofeedback software. Recent updates include multiple custom neurofeedback protocol options, client insight training data, client educational resources in their journeys feature, client journaling options for tracking progress, custom EEG and subjective assessments of client training, brain mapping, and custom reports for client feedback. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video where we will talk about a new program MindLift is offering for professionals that want to incorporate neurofeedback training for their clients, but feel like they need supervision from a neurofeedback expert in order to do so. Now, I've been using the MindLift program exclusively with my Brain Circuit Training Program clients, and I really enjoy the software. If you recall, MindLift offers at-home neurofeedback training through the Muse headband. As a client, you receive an additional electrode along with EEG paste to offer more flexibility in brain assessments and training than the Muse headband can do alone. Your practitioner designs neurofeedback protocols for you to train your brain through performance enhancement threshold settings. Basically, the characters in the game or the videos respond when your brain waves increase or decrease to neurofeedback thresholds that were previously set. For example, you may be rewarded for increasing alpha frequency at location CZ for relaxation training while simultaneously trying to reduce high beta in the same location. I use this program to design my four neurofeedback Feedback protocols that I use with my clients and it's gone really well and I'm really happy with it. MindLift has paid attention to so many details that providers can use, right down to creating your own customized activation code for your clients to link remotely to your clinic. The first feature is design flexibility with your neurofeedback protocols. You can create multiple custom neurofeedback protocols as a practitioner if you want to and offer those to your clients. In the beginning, you don't have to get too complicated as a provider. The default settings to use with their clients are really great. There are ones for focus, relaxation and mood enhancement, for example. I know for a fact that MindLift has worked with many experts in the field to develop data-driven neurofeedback protocols that you can use with your clients. And there's also some experimental ones to try using with clients to include memory improvement settings. More advanced practitioners have the option of choosing what specific frequencies and scalp locations that they want to use with their clients in order to deliver the most personalized training that they can. For example, in the relaxation settings, normally theta is downtrained in order to avoid drowsiness. But if you find that a client tends to slip further into theta in a meditation session, you can reward the upper part of theta to make sure that they don't slip too far into drowsiness, but also are not punished for going into a deeper meditative state. In addition with this feature, I find that my clients really like to have options of trying different protocols from their end, and you can display multiple protocols on their tablet to pick from. This can be really helpful because if you have as many clients as I'm working with right now, you can get interrupted during the day of clients asking to modify their neurofeedback program. But if you have multiple programs displayed on their tablet, they can pick which one they wanna do and you don't have to be making changes to settings all the time, which is a huge value. That way, if they wanna do a different training protocol for the day, they can just pick what they wanna do instead of you having to change everything on your end. Number two is client insights. And this is great because there's a lot of homework in neurofeedback training. Clients need to be doing the training on their own time in order to make progress but sometimes that can result in them feeling like they're not getting enough feedback between calls with you. So Insights lets them know if they've made progress and it's really a positive reinforcement for them to continue the training. I meet with my groups every two weeks, so it's nice that they get feedback from the software in between calls so that they know that they're improving. It also gives feedback on my end because I'm notified when they've crossed a certain threshold to receive an insight, kind of like uh, reaching a goal, which lets me know, okay, they're doing well, they're continuing the training, they're making progress, I'll have to talk about that next time I speak with them. Number three on our list is client journeys. This is a brand new feature from MindLift that not only gives useful tips on how to manage brain health, but teaches about neurofeedback as well. In the beginning, I used to get a ton of questions about the basics of neurofeedback, but now I know my clients are learning about neurofeedback and brain health during the training. So when I actually do my call sessions, we can go more in depth on meditation concepts and other things that take more time. And I don't have to rehash the basics, which allows us to go deeper in the training. Number four is client journaling. 
pain. And this can be very important in both therapeutic environments and performance enhancement environments. Having clients write down thoughts about how the training went right after the trainings improves insight and the learning process, which accelerates their ability to improve. You can set the journaling feature so that the client either keeps their journaling private or shares it directly with you as the provider. Which way you wanna set up journaling really depends on how you wanna deliver your neurofeedback practice and your personal preferences. Number five on our list is custom assessments. I really like this option. At first for the subjective assessments, there were just basic questions to choose from that you had more of a mental health orientation. But now for my program, I can create custom assessments for my neurofeedback meditation training program that as you can imagine would have different questions than a mental health screening questionnaire. So now I can custom design my own questionnaires in order to get a better sense of where people are starting out and how their progress is going throughout the program. And I'm sure there's a lot of practitioners out there that have their own style that would appreciate that so that they can customize their training programs when using the MindLift Neurofeedback. Number six is brain mapping. This is an obvious attraction. I mean, who doesn't like to see those colored scalp maps of how you're doing before and after trainings? I know that MindLift has been working on this for a long time. They really wanted to make sure that they had the data right. And now it's here, so rejoice. We can finally use it with our clients. And I think that both the practitioners and the clients will be very happy and excited to use this feature. Number seven is customized reports. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but I want to rehash it. It is so valuable just to have all those data sets and put them into a document to share with your clients. I put these reports together every two weeks to give to my clients along with a personalized feedback video so they can review the data with the help of the video explanation so that they can understand what's going on with their own brain waves before we get together as a group and discuss their experiences and results. And then as long as people are comfortable sharing their data with the group, we dive into the data together and learn a whole lot. And the bonus announcement, MindLift is releasing a program where if you want to incorporate neurofeedback training into your clinic but are intimidated by getting into neurofeedback or feel that you don't have supervision, reach out to MindLift because they have a new program where they'll pair you with a coach in order to supervise your clinical delivery of neurofeedback so that you can deliver the best value for your clients. I think this is an awesome opportunity for people that wanted to get into neurofeedback, but were worried about lack of experience or supervision. So please do reach out to MindLift. I think this is gonna be great and you'll be able to go more in depth training than what I can deliver on these videos here on YouTube. I hope you are as excited as I am about the updates to the MindLift program. Like I said, I've been using this exclusively with my clients in the Brain Circuit Training Program. If you're interested in my program, be sure to go to the link in the description and submit an application. I'm taking new clients for next month and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. It's really profound what you've done by using um, biofeedback to be able to get me to a state where, you know, I think I'm, I'm not sure I would have ever gotten to if I was using, you know, like your typical apps or breathing exercises. These conversations with the group are awesome because there's so many, there's so many tips that people have. What I, what I really think is great is you know, everyone's talking about their experiences and I just see so many, everybody is kind of shaking their head the same way, which is, is so encouraging because like, obviously we're, we're getting the same results. We're different people, different places, yet you know, we're, we're nodding our heads and we're getting the same sort of results, which is really uh, a testament to how well this course has worked. This technique is just almost like necessary activity for a an enriching, calm, happier life. Um, so I appreciate the the community that you've created. I, your learning mindset is is very inspiring, Cody. Um, I know when I first started with the Muse band, it was really frustrating because I didn't, you can really tell whether you're improving or not. With MindLift and especially the settings that you, you had planned for us um, and the reports and the feedback that you gave us, like. Um, I've definitely seen improvement, um, obviously backed by the reports, but also I've kind of realized that I don't get as frustrated as I would. It motivated me to stay on longer. Um, it gave me those ex those deep experiences. And, you know, I, I can't imagine that, you know, it was like a, a deep meditator um, who had 70,000 hours of experience in a Tibetan monastery. Um, I'm not sure that in the future, you know, as these things become more commonplace and those techniques become better that it's going to take that long to really get you know profound changes in, in people's meditation it just it helped a lot it made a huge difference um this this was exactly the right time for me to go through something like this